Thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder with UpperMichiganStores.com with your forecast for Wednesday, February 5th. Well, some of the weather headlines, we have a north wind and we've seen a few spotty lake effect snow showers out of that first thing this morning. But winds eventually go westerly by this evening and that combined with superior ice as that's going to really limit our uh, lake effect snow for today. Single digit temperature readings as we look across the west end of Upper Michigan at the 8 o'clock hour on this Wednesday. And uh, we were hanging into the teens across much of the uh, eastern UP, falling back now. Manistique, Menominee, the only holdouts reading double digits above zero. We do keep below normal temperatures today, and with this steady north wind, it does feel a little cooler. We've seen peak gusts around 20, 25 miles an hour, and if you look closely, you'll see some spotty lake effect snow showers, especially across central Marquette County over towards Alger Luce County, but limited open water across the east end of uh, Lake Superior and uh, well, limited lake effect snow as a result. High pressure and still a dominant feature across the upper Midwest. We actually have some cloud cover associated with the north uh, northern fringe of this latest low pressure system and that uh, was creating a mess this morning across the Ohio Valley, the southern Great Lakes, parts of uh, downstate Michigan getting in on that action as well. But we look south, lots of rain, some mixed precipitation across the uh, uh, eastern panhandle of West Virginia right through the nation's capital. Here's a look at all the winter watches and warnings uh, effective associated with that latest low pressure system working all the way from uh, the Midwest right through the Ohio River Valley. Some flood concerns across uh, Kentucky and into West Virginia. Ice storm warnings continue for southeastern Ohio. Cold air on the back side of this system. Plenty of cold air across the North American continent, but uh, we are actually uh, checking in around average for this time of year. 15 below in Calgary, Billings, and we take a closer look. There's definitely some cold air in play. Places like Regina, 22 below. Sawyer Airport, 5. And that's right on target for what we expect for a seasonal average. Here's the setup for today. So this latest low continues its generally northeastward track across the uh, eastern uh, United States. We're on the eastern fringe of this latest low pressure system. So the pressure difference between those two fronts, that equals some breezy north winds. But again, limited uh, ice over Lake Superior and I should say limited open water. There's plenty of ice on the uh, lake and so limited lake effect snow. We're watching single digit temperature readings across the far western UP. We eventually work into the low and perhaps mid teens in some of the warmer spots. By this afternoon, we expect more of a westerly wind component and those winds shifting around. We combine that with the fact that there's not a whole lot of open water. Not much lake effect snow expected by sundown. I think the snow would be suppressed to the far eastern UP and you can see temperatures generally into the teens. So the Suicide Hill ski jump is tonight in Ishpeming and well, we do expect some breezy winds to take hold across upper Michigan. There may be a snowflake here and there, but falling uh, temperatures will also be a concern as we look ahead at tonight into your Thursday morning and we factor in those peak wind gusts. We're talking about wind chills, so starting to feel some concern there into the 15 to perhaps 25 below zero range for a wind chill as we start our Thursday. Thursday stays cool, but we'll call it mainly dry, limited chance for lake effect snow, similar to today, but highs still only managing teens and uh, single digits across the western UP. And as we look at the TV six day forecast, Thursday will be quite breezy. Same for Friday. That means uh, drifting and blowing snow, a possibility, though we're not expecting much in the way of accumulation. Below normal temperatures continue right through the six day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.